Yeah. Welcome to evening <laughs> yeah. <laughs> prayer meeting where you can see the scripture book of, book of Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 1 to 20. Sister Jane, can you read for me please? Yeah. Yes. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, speak to your countrymen and say to them, when I bring the sword against the land and the people of the land choose one of their most and make sorry, one of their men, and make him their watchman. And he sees the sword coming against the land and blows the trumpet to warn the people. Then, if anyone hears the trumpet but does not take warning, and the sword comes and takes his life, his blood will be on his own head. Since he heard the sound of the trumpet but did not take warning, his blood will be on his own head. If he had taken warning, he would have saved himself. But if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet to warn the people, and the sword comes and takes the life of one of them, that man will be taken away because of his sin. But I will hold the watchman accountable for his blood. Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel so hear the word I speak, and give them warning from me. When I say to the wicked, O wicked man, you will surely die, and you do not speak out to dissuade him from his ways, that wicked man will die for his sin, and I will hold you accountable for his blood. But if you do warn the wicked man to turn from his ways, and he does not do so, he will die for his sin but you will be saved yourself. Son of man, say to the house of Israel, <coughs> this is what you are saying. Our offences and sins weigh us down, and we are wasting away because of them. How then can we live? Say to them, as surely as I live, declares the sovereign Lord, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked but rather that they turn from their ways and live. Turn, turn from your evil ways. Why will you die, O house of Israel? Therefore, son of man, say to your countrymen, the righteousness of the righteous man will not save him when he disobeys, and the wickedness of the wicked man will not cause him to fall when he turns from it. The righteous man if he sins, will not be allowed to live because of his former righteousness. If I tell the righteous man that he will surely live, but then he trusts in his righteousness and does evil, none of the righteous things he has done will be remembered. He will die for the evil he has done. And if I say to the wicked man, you will surely die, but he then turns away from his sin, and does what is just and right. If he gives back what he took in pledge for a loan, returns what he has stolen, follows the decrees that give life, and does no evil, he will surely live. He will not die. None of the sins he has committed will be remembered against him. He has done what is just and right. He will surely live. Yet your countrymen say, the way of the Lord is not just, but it is their way that is not just. If a righteous man turns from his righteousness and does evil, he will die for it. And if a wicked man turns away from his wickedness and does what is just and right, he will live by doing so. Yet, O house of Israel, you say, the way of the Lord is not just. But I will judge each of you according to his own ways. Thank you. Dear Heavenly Father, you can speak to us by your word. You made heaven and earth uh, by your word. Would you declare to us by your word? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This evening I would like to share with you the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 1 to 20. And then, number one, this message to watchmen. Ezekiel is a watchman. You are a watchman. I'm a watchman. Do you know what is the message of a watchman? If you look at the verse through, 
verse 2. Mr. Gary, chapter 33, verse 2. Son of man, speak to your countrymen and say to them, When I bring the sword against the land, and the people of the land chose one of their men and make him their wicked man. And verse 3 say, <clears throat> And he sees the sword coming against the land, uh, blew, blows the trumpet to warn the people. You see, your job is speak to the countrymen. Speak the warning. Speak. And blow, blows the trumpet. Do you know, this is very important. Blows the trumpet. Do you know, you have the trumpet. What is the trumpet at the moment? Your mouth. <laughs> and then you can speak to them. Do you know, even verse 7 and 8. Speak out. Speak out. Look at verse 7. Son of man. Actually, Ezekiel is a son of man. I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. So, hear the word I speak. And give them warning from me. When I say to the wicked, O oh, wicked man, you will surely die. And you do not speak out to uh, dissuade uh, him and from his way. The wicked man will die for his sins. And I will hold you accountable for his blood. Then your job is to speak out. Speak out. Then I am pastor. I saw some people not doing properly. I mean the wicked way. In the, uh, in the eyes of the law. So dark. I speak out. I'm telling them the truth. Repent your sins. Do you know what is my job? If I know they're doing like that, I need to speak out. Please don't do it. Brother, don't do it. I'm begging them. Why? If I don't do it, their blood is coming to me. I'm accountable. God called me, you're a watchman. Watchman's job to telling the truth in love of God. Watchman's job is a blues, uh, blows the trumpet. Watchman's job, speak out for your husband, for your wife, for your children, for your brothers, sisters. This is uh, uh, your job. Watchman's job is to uh, speak out. And then look at the verse 9. If you look at the verse 9. But if you do not warn the wicked man to turn from this way, and he does not do so, he will die for his sins. But you will be saved yourself. Which means, warn the wicked man. You have to warn them. Be careful. You are in danger. Please come out from darkness. You need to speak out. Blow the trumpet. And then warn the wicked man. This is your job. And I do over 20 years ago, one guy, the black guy, he's a tall guy, almost six and a half foot. Big, big man. He came to our church. But every single Sunday after the service, he came close to my ear. Do you know what he say? Satan working in your church. He always said like that. Do you know this first time in my life, I wish he stopped to come to our church. <laughs> that, that, that is my heart. But he never missed the Sunday service. He came to our church. He, that is look like his mission. He came to me and uh, speak to me, he said, it is working in your church. I said, no, Holy Spirit working in our church. He is look like the behavior, like a devil, devils. But every single Sunday he did. But I'm warning, please don't do it, brother. He never listened. But do you know what was happening? We used to have the 135 uh, attendance, 25 nationality. In, we used in the uh, school uh, assembly hall. And while I was preaching, you know, our foot is a little bit high, around uh, one and a half meters higher than the ground. And there's a two stairs. You know, the assembly hall in the school normally, the stage in there. Within five seconds, do you know what he did? He learned to me. I thought he come and punch it. But what he did? He showed his, uh, his, uh, uh, his hip to remove his trousers. Can you imagine? He showed his, 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 his hip, I mean his eyes, and the whole congregation closed their eyes in the church on Sunday, Sunday morning service, 11 o'clock. And our young man come and hold him and to kick him out him. Can you imagine on Sunday service that kind of happening? I'm warning him. Do you know there's terrible, terrible sins in the eyes of the Lord. He's a wicked man. I warn him. But anyway, he stopped to come to church from that Sunday. After that, he never come back. <clears throat> but within six months, his mommy called me. Pastor Paul, do you know my son? Said, yes, I know your son. How is he? 
And you know what she say that? When, when the big lorry come to the roundabout in the in the Lusham, you know, there's a big roundabout in Lusham. He jump under the lorry and he died. And his mother cry. I said, I'm so sorry. Can you imagine? Plan of Satan is steal, kill, destroy. Satan killed him. But I knew. I knew. I spoke. I warning him. The Bible says, as you are watchmen, warn the wicked man. We have to speak out. I spoke, spoke to him. Be careful, brother. Don't do it. But he never listened uh, like that. And then finally, he, he killed himself. It's how terrible. You know, four people died since I came to the United Kingdoms. Four people strongly against me, one by one, within 25 years. And you know, four people died within six months. Within six months. And I fear God, oh God. I'm, I mean, you know, I fear Almighty God. And then people made a rumor, if somebody against uh, Pastor Paul's song, make sure you're going to die within six months. <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't make that. <laughs> I don't like it. Because I'm telling the truth. When I telling the truth, somebody strongly resist. Oh, it's terrible. But last Sunday, brother uh, Daniel, you working very hard with me, and I give the book to one lady, and then she stopped to come to our church. A strange idea. She's disturbing the service. She's disturbing the, our ministry. I know that. You know, when I banned about that strange theory, continue. She tried to speak like that. You know, I already you know arrange and then. Praise God. You know, I don't want to uh, see that these uh, uh, evil things in, in our church. One guy, the homosexual guy, he came to our church. He, he, he was evangelist. I saw him in this day in the place where he preached on, on the street. But he was a homosexual. Homosexual guy, and at, at that time he was a, it's an active uh, the homosexual man at the time. He came to church. He's a Christian. But I know that he, he, he was a homosexual. But on at the time, you know, we have the morning service at 6 o'clock. Over 25 people attend the morning service. And uh, he came to me, Pastor Paul, if you don't mind, can I lay my hand for all of your congregation and pray for them? What did I say? <laughs> he wanted to transport uh, this uh, spirit of homosexual for everybody. <laughs> what I believe you, I kick out. You, I, I don't beat him. <laughs> When Dina is Dina, these things, you know, we have to warning them. Yes. Dina, sometimes two times, you know, you're a parent, eh? you have children. Sometimes two times you need, you're a watchman for your children. Yeah? Some children, they do some strange thing. You have to warning them, don't do it, don't do it. Yeah? I know the one, my friend, uh, Korean pastor, and then children come near to the, the very oldest type wooden wooden heater. Put the wood in there is a very warm. But children they want to go inside and he made uh, some fan around two meters fence around the the, the the heater. But children go on the top of the damn fan on the floor and then he pray about, pray to the Lord, what should I do? God gave him the desire, remove all the fan. And then he told the children, This is very hot, very hot come close. They, they children, two, three children, they so hot they knew that. If you want, if you want to touch it, feel free to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> because children don't listen to him and he removed all the pen. It uh, looked like uh, no safety. And one child come and then the, because of it, the child never listened to daddy. And touching him, she screamed. <laughs> and then, <laughs> he's not burned but he's shocked. And then uh, you learn something, yeah? yeah? It's up to you. Do you want to do it more? <laughs> Come, more touch it. They never touch again. <laughs> do you understand? Yes. Do you know you are a watching man? Warning them. Don't do it. Don't do it. In the eyes of the law, it's an evil. Please stop doing it. Look at the verse 12. He went, therefore, son of a man, say to your countryman, the righteousness of the righteous man will not save him when he disobey, and the wickedness of the wicked man will not cause him 
to fall when he turns from it. The righteous man, if he sin, will not be allowed to live because of his, because of sins. For more righteousness, you see, obey. Even you are a watchman, you are a righteous man. You have to obey, obey. Yeah, watchman. I'm a watchman. Obey what the Holy Spirit say. Obey what the Bible say. Obey what God say to you. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Do you know who, who, who is a mature man and woman of God? If you obey the, what the all, all, Almighty God say, you are a mature man. But you know, by your own power, by your own your strength, it's almost impossible to obey. But Holy Spirit helps you to obey the will of Father in heaven. This is a watchman. You are a watchman. How many watchmen? Can you say to each other, you're a watchman, wake up, say to each other. You're, you're a watchman, watch wake, wake up, up in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. Also telling the truth for me. Do you know why, why the David, he didn't go to hell? Why David, he survived from his sin? Because of Nathan. Nathan was a watchman. Nathan was a prophet of Israel. He came to David, David, you are the one to come into the sins. Thanks be to God. David, he was, a, he was a man after God's heart. He feared Almighty God. When he listened from the watchman, he knew his warning from God. He repented the sins. But Bathsheba and then the David committed the sin. They get the baby. What happened to this baby? What's from baby? Die. Die. Way of sin is what? That. Even David, he cried to the Lord. Oh God, save my baby, but David, baby died. You see, therefore, you know, if you have some like the Nathan around you, <laughs> it's uh, good for you. Uh, can you say, teacher, once again, I am uh, your Nathan. Say, teacher, I am uh, your Nathan. Nathan. Amen. <laughs> Nathan is the one to <laughs> telling the truth. Isn't that wonderful? You know, <clears throat> you are my Nathan to telling the truth. If I if I speak some strange word, not from the Bible. You know, you know, you need to warning me. You need to tell me the truth for me in Christ Jesus. You know, we have to, you know, watch over each other. Do you remember when when Cain killed his uh, uh, brother Abel, and God say, "Where is your brother?" What Cain say? You see, <laughs> am I my brother's keeper? Yes, he is a brother's keeper. Do you understand? Am I my brother's keeper? He speaks strangely. I'm your keeper, yeah? You're my keeper. You have to keep each other's. Do you know? Do you know? Can you say, am I my brother's keeper? Yeah, he should look after his brother. Yeah? But he speaks like that. Unfortunately, you know, Cain's life is a terrible life. Do you know? So selfish. He's evil, wicked. And then sometimes, two times, your heart is uh, like that. Am I my brother's keeper? Am I my wife's keeper? Husband's keeper? Am I my children's <laughs> keeper? Sorry, <laughs> only to me. No, no. Can you say, teachers, once again, I'm your keeper? Say, teachers, <laughs> I'm your keeper. <clears throat> yeah, it's good. You, you, know, uh, you know, brother Daniel, he always uh, appreciate that. Uh, thank God for brother Patrick. Jane and then Elizabeth, you know, look after me and I appreciate. You know, it's, it's very important to appreciate, be grateful when somebody do something for you. And he recognized it. You know, when I heard I tell you two months ago, I think, he, when he said, oh, some, some, some Daniel's keeper surround him. It's good. I'm your keeper, brother. He's my keeper. We keep each other's. You know, I'm a sister Sammy's keeper. And then, you know, you, you ladies uh, and keep uh, Sister Sammy. And I, I'm, uh, you know, Brother Jack. I think last month he listened to water baptism. But he came once, but he didn't come. But I sent a text message. I prayed for him, but he didn't respond. But I'm still, I'm his Jesus. keeper. Yeah. Brother. yeah. We look like Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. But, so yeah. Can you, you have to have the, that kind of attitude. Watchman's, uh, watchman's attitude is, uh, you know, I'm uh, your keeper. Yeah, that kind of heart. Your problem is my problem. That kind of heart. Your trouble is my trouble. Your joy is my joy. 
Your blessing is my blessing. That kind of heart. You know what the Bible says? You can mourn with uh, those who are mourn. You can rejoice with uh, those who are rejoice. This is a watchman's heart. Watchman's heart is very important. Ezekiel is a watchman for house of Israel. Whole people, Jewish people. You know, he has got heart of God. You know, God deal with uh, uh, Ezekiel. You are the one to tell the truth. Do you know, God didn't, God is a spirit, yeah? God is spirit. He didn't come and then speak to them, no, no. God spoke to Moses to tell him the truth. God spoke to Joshua to tell him the truth. God spoke to Isaiah. God spoke to Jeremiah. God spoke to prophet and then like Ezekiel and then telling the truth for the nation. You know, when God, when God blessed somebody, do you know how God blessed somebody? God didn't bless you directly from heaven. God bless you through somebody. Did you know that? God bless you through some human being. Do you, do you understand? Also, when God judge you, God judge you, God judge you through somebody also. <laughs> do you understand? Especially, you know, most difficult, uh, difficult pain in your heart is a trouble in your heart is a relationship problem. You know, relationship problem is very, very difficult. How many understand? You know, some people separate and divorce. So hard, so hard. Some husband, wife, or their partner died. So hard. You know, relationship. You know, God blesses somebody yeah, to the people. Also, God, you know, judge somebody by the people. Actually, you know, the God judged the nation through wicked leader. Did you know that? God used Adolf Hitler. You know, you may say Satan used uh, Satan used Adolf Hitler. We know that, but even Satan is uh, uh, in the hands of God. Do you know that? God is in, in control, not Satan. So of course, we know that Satan is the ruler of hell. We know that, but I tell you, God allowed these things and and that things. You know, Kim Il Sung, Kim Jong Il, Kim Jong Un. Now three, you know, detective in North Korea. Yeah, grandfather, the father, now the grandson, Kim Jong. He's just over thirty years old, young man. Do you know? God allowed this thing. God allowed this thing. Mean God judge the North Korea. God judge the North Korea through wicked leader. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know the who was um, the do you know John Calvin? Do you know Martin Luther? Mm. Martin Luther and John Calvin. Do Martin Luther come from Germany? John Calvin come from France. And Chivingly, Chivingly come from Switzerland. And John Knox, do you know John Knox from Scotland? These are the reformer in 16th century. God used these people to open a Protestant from Roman Catholic. Mm. John Calvin, he, he was a reformer in 16th century, around 500 years ago. You know John Calvin. He was uh, he was a mayor of uh, mayor of uh, mayor of uh, uh, Zurich. He ran away from France. He hiding in in he he went to Switzerland. And he become a governor. He become a mayor of the uh, of the uh, Zurich. And then you know when he become a mayor, and then he write down when God judged the nation, God used the wicked leader to judge the nation. He, he made a very famous uh, some some no word, and because he become a governor, he knew that. Therefore, the Bible say we need to pray for rulers, pray for authorities. You know, when you go to the mountain, I never stop to pray for Boris Johnson. You know, of course, uh, people pray for Boris Johnson, but I pray for him. I pray for him, and continuously. You know, I was pray for. You know, uh, John Major. I was praying for uh, David Cameron. I was praying for Tony Blair. Who else? I was praying for Gordon Brown, and then, you know, I was praying for all the former, you know, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Not because I love them, no. Because of my prayer didn't work. My prayer to touch their heart, touch their mind, and then the Bible say, when you pray for leaders and rulers, and your life will be calm, and safety and they uh, enjoy the life. If the wicked leader make a strange law to you know against uh, the people, you'll be suffering. 
do you understand? My prayer, oh God, is um, some strange law to support for LGBT code. They need to remove this kind of strange law. Do, do, you, do you understand? This kind of law <coughs> not supporting for the LGBTQ at all, actually. This kind of the, the law, yeah, is uh, against the uh, Lord Jesus Christ, against the Christian, against the ordinary people, yeah. But we are a watchman. Watchman, speak out. Watchman, blow the trumpet. Watchman, warn the wicked man, yeah. And number two, now, righteous man, wicked man. This message, which means everybody, everybody, including you and non-Christian, everybody, yeah, this message. If you look at the verse uh, 11, verse 11, say to them, as surely as I live, declares the sovereign Lord, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but rather that they turn from their ways and live. Turn, turn from your evil ways. Why will you die, O house of Israel? This message is not only for this wicked man, evil, even the watchman as well. Do you know that? Watchman is sometimes very, very dangerous. You know, you need to pray for yourself also. As a watchman, you, know, you need to warning for yourself also. Do you understand? I, uh, many, many years ago, I think, around uh, ten, over 10 years ago, one American preacher, he's strongly against homosexual. Strong. His church is a mega church, over 20,000 members in America. But the breaking news, I was in South Korea at the time. I saw the BBC, I saw CNN, I saw the breaking news. He himself committed adultery with a homosexual man. Can you imagine? He is the one to stand up against homosexual, but he is the one to commit adultery with a young boy. Can you imagine? He's, he, wa he was a watchman, but he didn't warn him for himself. Do you understand? That is why Paul say, I preach the gospel for many people. And then I beat myself. What do you mean? What do you mean? He don't physically uh, uh, torturing for himself. No, no. I don't want to go to hell. I preach the gospel of Lord Jesus. And then I go to hell. What? <laughs> How terrible. He doesn't want to do it. That is why for me, I, I pray for myself. Oh God, deliver me. Protect me. Oh God, redeem me by the blood of Lord Jesus. Deliver me from the temptation of the evil one. I was praying and praying for myself. Also, of course, I pray for all our brothers, sisters, every man, the wicked man, righteous man, everybody. Turn, turn from your evil ways. Evil ways. Not only wicked man, everybody. Everybody. Yeah. You know, you, sometime, two times, uh, you know, uh, I mean, do you know what is the plan of Satan, especially in the church? Satan tried to destroy the pastor's family. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Satan tried to, if a pastor's family broken, what you gonna happen? Church broken. Church uh, shaken, broken, yeah. That is why Satan, you need to pray for me, please. Pray for me and my wife all the we time, always please. Do. We always do. Do you understand? Thank yeah. you very much. May Patrick you know, thank you very much. Is. You know, uh, many, many years ago, uh, one, uh, I, was, uh, I was studying in the Bible College for 11 years. I was studying in the London Bible College, now London School of Theology. I was studying in Sheffield University. I was studying the Assemblies of God, our denomination Bible College. I was studying in the, in the American the Bible College, CICM, I was studying. Also, I was studying in the IBIOL, which is a Kingston Temple, the, the Bible College, for two years. For 11 years, I was studying in the Bible College continuously, and the one lecturer from America, and then, you know, she's a woman, a woman lecturer. She said that she's a quite a famous uh, writer and then speaker. And then she attended some conference in America, I think, uh, Florida, big conference. Uh, she said that 4,000 couples, 4,000 pastors meeting. Can you imagine? <coughs> around 8,000 people, huge conference, all the ministers, but beautiful, you know, restaurant and like five-star hotel, everybody enjoyed the food. But one day in the breakfast, she enjoyed a very nice food and opposite of the, her, 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 her table, one lady, she was fasting, wanted to drink the water. 
And then this professor, she, she asked him, ask her, she come without her husband, she came. Why you're fasting? You enjoy the food. And do you know what happened? She was a witch. She was a witch. And then because of the Holy Spirit working powerfully and which automatically opened her, her mouth and she speak out what she uh, what is her plan, her purpose. And she said, I, I'm fasting for 40, 40 days to destroy the 40 persons family in this conference. And then this professor, she stood up, this witch is here. <laughs> she fasted for 40 days to destroy the 40 persons family. And she just ran away that lady. And then she said that, you see, witchcraft. This that lady, she fasting for 40 days to destroy the 40 pastor's family. Can you imagine? Therefore, you need to uh, pray for pastor, pray for leader. You know, pray for pastor Julie also. Pray for myself, yeah? Pray, pray. It's very important to supporting for leaders. Why? If you lead us a well, it's a, some innocent, innocent people, they, they, they spiritually died. Do you remember who is the older brother of Moses? Aaron. Aaron. And Moses went to the top of Mount Sinai to receive the Ten Commandment. And he came down. What he saw? Golden calf. Golden calf. Who was the leading that, they, that made the golden calf? Aaron. Aaron! Can you imagine? And then, do you know what was happening? You know, actually, did you know then? And then, then Moses, uh, he fasting for 40, uh, 80 days. Did you know that? Oh. 40 times, 40 days first, and another 40 days. He received the uh, Ten Commandments how many times? Twice. Two times. <laughs> and he threw away in the beginning. And then there's earthquake, and the dirt opened the orphan. How many people died? 3,000. 3,000. Three Thousand people died. Aaron made a mistake. Can you imagine one spiritual leader? Aaron is the you know spiritual you know priest, high priest uh, tribe. Aaron misleading the people. People they shouting, oh how long are you waiting for Moses? We need to do something. They used to see the cow. They used to see the some god. We want to see with our own eyes. And they bring the you know, earring and what pure gold and they made it. Aaron conducted. But you know, if I got, if I were God, I killed Aaron first. <laughs> <laughs> but Aaron survived. <laughs> it's very interesting. <laughs> Thank God I'm not God. <laughs> when, when Peter preached on the street, in High Street in, in, in Jerusalem, how many people came to Lord Jesus? 3,000. 3,000. Can you imagine? Aaron misleading the people. 3,000 people died. Peter preached the gospel. 3,000 people saved. You see? Mm -hmm. Do you know? It's up to you. Do you know? You have to, we have to wake up. You know? Did I tell you, uh, I was driving to my car and I stopped in front of uh, the modern station. And um, because traffic light is a long, long traffic jam, I was stopped and then I heard some so noisy ambulance sound, ambulance, from that side. And I saw the side way, the ambulance driver, he didn't reduce the speed, coming toward to my car, because our car is... <laughs> All our lane is a stop. Oh, I pray, oh God, the, the, the ambulance is not stopping and so strongly driven. Guess what was happening? The ambulance crashed in front of my car. Not my car, no, in front of my car, some other's car. And then all the left of the door, everything, go inside. Oh, shock. You know, I saw everything in front, because it, I saw the uh, ambulance come from there and then in front of my car, I saw everything. I'm the, I look like the best man to see everything. <laughs> and then ambulance two guys drive and uh, that guy, two guys came out and what's, what's that? that the stretcher? Yeah. Stretcher? Stretcher, yeah. The, the, the four wheels and, uh, 
and then they remove the driver and put on the table and then go inside the uh, ambulance and then ambulance go. Do you know, I think about that. Do you know what I think? What ambulance their job? To save the life. Mm. Ambulance job to save the life. But ambulance, do you know ambulance, this uh, you call a paramedic, yeah? These people almost kill the people. Yeah? And what is our church's job? Our church, Thank save you. the life. But unfortunately, the church kill the people, <laughs> spiritually. <laughs> <laughs> you know, have you seen some church? Some people, some people become born again from somewhere and then come to that church and split that. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. Even some like the Mormon church or Jehovah's Witnesses, the Kingdom Hall or some cult. Like the Mormon, this, this is the Mormon church. They are a cult spiritually. You know, they kill the people. Then I saw this happening. Oh God, Lord, I'm a, like a spiritual doctor. Jesus, my senior doctor. Oh God, help me to save the souls, save the people. I don't want to mislead the people to kill. No. You know, I saw the ambulance almost kill the people. And then, oh God, help me. But this message eh, for watchmen and righteous men, also wicked men, everybody. Look at verse 13. In Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 13. Sister Jane, can you read it for me once again? <laughs> yeah. Have you found it? There's, uh, oh, I've lost it. Oh, yes. If I tell the righteous man that he will surely live, but then he trusts in his righteousness and does evil. Mm. None of the righteous things he has done mm. will be remembered. He will die for the evil he has done. Can you imagine? The righteous man, he does evil. God, don't remember your righteous things. Sorry. You see? Therefore, you need to pray to God for your future. Mm. Oh, God, help me. I will follow Jesus all the days of my life, you know. Pray to God for your last day. You know, last your breath, what do you want to say? You can say, praise God, thank you, Jesus. Thank God, I think you lady, you're already retired, eh? And then um, to go to the mountain and pray. <laughs> <laughs> you look like young, <coughs> young English girl, 20s, <coughs> 70s. <laughs> I never seen the sun. <laughs> The entire beautiful girls <laughs> go to the mountain and pray. <laughs> you know, you are very uh, crazy for Jesus. <laughs> you know, this is a fire of the Holy Spirit, yeah? Do you, do you understand? We need the fire to keep yes. us warm. <laughs> fire for Jesus. <laughs> fire. I still remember in Brixton Prison, we, we pray and worshiping God. We, we pray. We need the fire of the Holy Spirit. We pray, fire, fire come, fire Holy Spirit. And you know what happened? One of the wings burned by fire, the natural fire. <laughs> no Holy Spirit fire. <laughs> we saw the real fire. <laughs> and uh, everybody is careful from the prison. But I still remember. We need the fire of the Holy Spirit, not near fire. <laughs> <laughs> you know, righteous man, you did it very well. But if you does the, if you does uh, evil, you know, it's very dangerous. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know. Therefore, you know, when you for me before I preach the gospel, I I preach the the gospel for my souls. You know, before I come to the church on Sunday, normally I watch the, my mirror. And I preach, <coughs> I preach 20 minutes sometimes. I preach to, nobody listen in my prayer room. I preach the gospel. When I preach the gospel, I look at my eyes. And <laughs> the message is so powerful and I was crying. I was touching. People are preaching the gospel for somebody. I need to preach the gospel for my soul. You know, I meditate the word of God day and night for my soul. Do you know, how can I share with you if I don't have nothing? You know, I have some, some spiritual food, spiritual something um, to share with you. Yeah. Look, therefore you're a watchman. You're a watch, watchman, watchwoman. And then you need to wake up and then turn.
turn, turn from your evil ways. Not just man. And if you do the evil things, you have to repent. Repent. Thanks be to God. If you repent, yeah, God will forgive and wash and clean and purify you. Repent. Yeah. Can you look at uh, uh, chapter uh, uh, verse 13, we read it. And then verse 14. Can you read for me verse 14? <clears throat> and if I say to the wicked man, you will surely die. But he then turns away from his sin and does what is just and right. If he gives back what he took in pledge for a loan, returns what he has stolen, follows the decrees that give life, and does no evil, he will surely live. He will not die. And was 16. None of the sins he had committed will be remembered against him. Hmm. He has done what is just and right. He will surely live. Amen. Even wicked man, he will surely live. Do you know? It, this is the fruit, fruit of your repentance. If you say, I repent my sins, show me your fruit. Show me your fruit. You know, if somebody is a thief, always steal, steal, steal. And they say, I repent my sins. And well done. But show me your fruit. He never ever steal anymore. And uh, he can bless others. <coughs> I met one prisoner <coughs> in Brixton Prison. He's a professional thief. Very professional. He come with a special pen. Not you know, that good. He was in prison. <laughs> <laughs> he he steal the 14 cash machine. 14. I said, how are you removing? He said, I have a special band and a special machine to remove from the world. Yeah. 14. And I asked him, uh, how much is inside the machine, cash machine? He said, uh, biggest amount, he, I asked him. He said, 280,000 pounds. And lowest amount, how much is inside the machine? He said, 20,000 pounds. And he used to carry the, or he, he spent more than 1 million pounds in cash. Guess how many years sentence? Ten. Twenty. One machine per one year. Oh. Fourteen years. Wow. <coughs> Fourteen years. <coughs> but he stayed in the half only seven years he stayed in the prison. And when he came out, he wanted to come to our church. I said, Be careful, don't steal anything. Lock the door with trees. I'm a born again, I don't steal it, but <laughs> you know be careful. You know, this this scripture say if he gives back what he took it, pledge for the loan, return what he has stolen. Return. Return. Do you understand? Do you, know, do you remember Zacchaeus? Yeah. When, when, when Jesus, uh, actually Jesus, uh, he knew his name. Oh. So crowd. The Zacchaeus is uh, very short. He, he, he tried to see Jesus, he couldn't see. And what he did? Claim the sycamore tree. And then, very interesting, Jesus pointed, Zacchaeus, come down, I want to stay in your house. <laughs> Jesus pointed on him, and he, Jesus knows his name. And do you know what happened? When Jesus uh, came to the Zacchaeus' house, Zacchaeus, he was, a, he was a tax collector. And he spoke to Jesus, if I, still, if I cheated somebody, I'm going to pay four times back. Jesus never said to him, but automatically, when you receive the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, when you be with the Jesus, in the presence of Jesus, automatically his mind, his heart change. He's willing to pay. He's willing to, you know, you know change his uh, behavior, change his uh, you know, life. Yeah? Therefore, you need to show your true repentance. Can you read for me verse 18 and 19? <coughs> If a righteous man turns from his righteousness and does evil, he will die for it. Hmm. And if a wicked man turns away from his wickedness and does what is just and right, he will live by doing so. Can you imagine? Righteous man, if he does the evil, he will die. But if a wicked man, he return from the evil ways and then you know, do it righteously, and just right, and he shall live by doing so. You see, therefore, this message for everybody, for Christian and non-Christian, everyone, everyone, 
just repent. Do you know? If you look at um, uh, 1 John chapter 1, verse 8 to 10, it's a very famous uh, scripture. 1 John chapter 1, verse 8 to 10. I can read it for you. 1 John chapter 1, verse 8 to 10. If you claim to be without a sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If you confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins, and purify us from all unrighteousness. If you claim we have not sinned, we make him out to be a liar, and his word has no place in our lives. You know, if you confess our sins, O oh God, forgive all my sins. Daniel, do you remember you forgive your ex-wife, and then actually you repent your sins. Yeah. You repent your sins. Do you know? When you forgive somebody, if you don't forgive somebody, that is a sin. Do you know that? Do you know that? If you don't forgive somebody, that is a sin. That is a sin. And then, of course, this is our sin, and we can confess our sins. And God is faithful and just. He will deliver us from all unrighteousness, from darkness. And then, um, yeah. And then finally, <coughs> God will judge. Look at verse 20. Can you look at the Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 20? Yet, O house of Israel, you say, The way of the Lord is not just, but I will judge each of you according to his own ways. Yeah, God will judge each of you according to your doing. God will judge. Is it good news or bad news? Good news. Good news. Yeah. If you do that, some strange things, yeah. It's a bad news because God will judge. Do you know, for me, <coughs> when I see the police, I'm happy to see the police. But some criminals, when they see the police, what they feel? They happy. They, they, they hate the police. Do you know, most of the people, they hate, uh, anybody hate the police? You love police, eh? You know, police is a, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We love the police. I, you know, of course, there's some strange police or some wicked police. We know that. But generally, they, they look like uh, our angel. They're supporting for us. Yes, yes. Do, you, do you understand? Yes. But if somebody <laughs> live in the darkness, somebody, you know, against the law of UK, somebody against uh, some, some the regulation and some strange things, yeah, in this nation, in United Kingdom, they don't like the police. Why? Because of, they're against the regulation, they're against the law. You know, they don't happy with the police at all. That is why Paul said, book of uh, Romans chapter seven, you know, the law of God is good, yeah? Through the law of God, we know we are a sinner. Through the law of God, we know how much we, we have sins. Therefore, the law of God is good or bad, tell me. Good. good. Good to know what kind of sin we have. Do you understand? Good to know. Do you understand? It's a regulation of the United Kingdom. It's good or bad? Regulation, UK. Do you know every law in the whole of nation come from where? From Ten Commandment. Do not steal, do not kill, do not you know, commit adultery, do not all these things. Every law in all of the world, law come from the Ten Commandment. This Ten Commandment is good or bad? Good. Your righteousness is for good. This Ten Commandment is very bad for wicked men. <laughs> Why? Because they don't like this kind of, you know, the regulation or law. They hate. They hate. They want to do whatever they like. Gangsters, they don't like the police. Why? Gangsters, they don't, have, they don't want to submit to the law of the nation. They love to do whatever they like. They can steal and kill whatever they like. Do you understand? They, that is why they are gangsters. But according to the scripture, God will judge. God will judge. We 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 we're so thank you for second coming of Lord Jesus. The good news or bad news? Good, good news. Wonderful news. Good news for believer. But those who live in the darkness, non believer, is good news or bad news? Terrible news. <laughs> Why? Because Jesus will come judge the world. When he came here 2,000 years ago, he came here to save the world. 
as the Lamb of God. But when He's coming again, He's coming again as what? Lion. Lion of Judah. He come and judge the world. Therefore, uh, it's good news God will judge. God will judge. The early Christian they called Maranatha, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Why? They love to see Jesus quickly. Yeah? But in these days, how many of you pray to God, Lord, Jesus come quickly? Do you pray like this? Jesus come quickly. Somebody, some young young people say, Oh, Pastor, we never experienced a marriage. I'm I never married. But Jesus need to not come quickly. I need to <laughs> experience a <laughs> marriage life. <laughs> they never understand how wonderful news Jesus come back quickly. Can you say amen? amen. Come Lord Jesus. Come Lord Jesus. Maranatha. Early Christian, they pray, come Lord Jesus. Of course, a terrible suffering, terrible persecution. Only one hope if Jesus come back to this world as soon as possible. That's the greatest news, wonderful news. Be with the Lord Jesus. Can you look at the Act chapter, Act, uh, Act chapter 17, Act chapter 17, verse 30 and 31. Act chapter 17, Act chapter 17, verse 30 and 31. Sister Jane, can you read for me, yeah. please? In the past, God overlooked such ignorance, but now he commands all people everywhere to repent. Mm. For he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice by the man he has appointed. He has given proof of this to all men by raising him from the dead. Thank you. Verse 30 say, yeah, he command all people everywhere to what? All people everywhere to what? Repent. To repent, repent. All people everywhere. Queen Elizabeth, all loyal family, Boris Johnson, all the cabinet members, everybody need to repent. Pastors, all the Christians, they need to repent. And then, you know, for he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice. He will judge the world. He will judge the world. It's good news. He will judge the world. Can you look at the Revelation chapter 22? Last scripture and then finish. Revelation chapter 22, verse 20. Last chapter of the Bible. Revelation chapter 22, verse 20. Sister, can you read for me, please? He who testifies to these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. And 21. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with God's people. Yes. Amen. amen, amen. Yes, I am coming soon. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Yeah. Amen. And then look at the verse 12 also. <clears throat> you know, this end of the, the scripture, verse 20 and 21, but before what you say, verse 12. Behold, I am coming soon. Mm. My reward is with me and I will give to everyone according to what he has done. Thank you. This is a God will judge. You know, judge means for born again Christian is a reward. For non Christian is a terrible judgment, like a sentence. Do, do you understand? For us, it's like a reward day. We receive the great reward. For non Christian is a like terrible punishment. Totally different. That is why verse 12 says, Behold, I am coming soon. My reward is with me. I will give to everyone according to what he has done. Yeah, what he has done. I, I believe that all of you, including me, your rest of your lives much, much blessed, more better than before in Jesus' name. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. More blessed, more blessed, more blessed. You know, I preached the gospel all last 30 years, day and the night, even before I or are we here because every day I preach the gospel every day 365 days per year every day but uh, I didn't have time today to preach I stay in my house all day long today I come little earlier to preach on the street I give the leaflet one two young girls when I stretch my leaflet like Corona you see. <laughs> very strange <laughs> 
in the Libya corner, uh, you know, I almost uh, attacked her by the word of the law, <laughs> but <laughs> I forgive that. You know, corona, uh, you know, what's wrong with that? <laughs> you know, we don't need scaring of corona, we don't need scaring of that. You know, the corona, therefore, we don't want to touch this uh, thing, that kind Maybe of thing. They thought you were Chinese and they all think Chinese. Maybe. Maybe. You know, in twen you know, the, the coronavirus come from Wuhan, yeah, from yeah, China. Allegedly. I don't want to call the coronavirus a Wuhan virus, yeah. Allegedly. You know, this virus come from Wuhan. I was in Israel in February 2020. And then this breaking news, this coronavirus come from China. And then, you know what happened? We booked in the hotel. And then our main job to preach the gospel in Israel, in Jerusalem, and Tel Aviv, everywhere. But when the Jewish woman, you know, opened the window and come near to us, our group, because she saw me in my face, uh, like Oriental, Corona, China, and the group. <laughs> Corona, China. I said, I'm not Chinese, I'm Korean. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> I still remember in Jerusalem. Have you been the uh, Have you been the Garden Tomb in Jerusalem? Yeah. And Garden Tomb is, uh, I think, is uh, where Jesus buried. And it's a wonderful, peaceful place. Yeah. You know, uh, if you come out Garden Tomb, there's a Damascus Gate. There's a many Muslims. We preach the gospel. And then um, because of a uh, whole media, internet, and news, news, the breaking news, the cholera come from China. And then I give the reply, and, and I saw the young Muslim man, tall man, taller than you, big man, over six and three four foot, big man coming. When you look at my eyes, around the, he come, I saw him over 20 minutes, and 10 meters, he, he look at my eyes, do you know what he did? He turned away, he ran away from me. <laughs> because he saw, he know the corona. <laughs> Can you imagine, you know, they look at us like, uh, like an alien. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> very, very funny. And then, I listened a phone call from the manager of the hotel. And they, do you know what they say? Please, uh, we cancel uh, uh, your, your hotel. Don't come back to hotel. We pay, every, I mean, we booking. I say, why? Because you are Korean. Your face is Korean. Yeah. And then, you know, we, some of Korean people they have the British face, but we are not Korean, we are British. <laughs> and then they say, no, <clears throat> your, 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 your face is Oriental, therefore don't come back. I, I say to them, you are racist. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep your money. You no, they back. return to me. Then, but the problem was, uh, yeah. you know, for yeah. three nights, we're going to sleep. You know, we are almost yeah. homeless. Yeah. Oh, it's terrible. Horrible. You know, they say we, you know, our, our, our coach drive is a Muslim man. And around the nine o'clock in the evening, I called o over 30, about 14 hotel. And oh. they say to me, does not matter your passport is a British passport, American passport, what you look like, your face. That's racism. It's a racism. They say we're gonna we're gonna claim it to uh, your know, human right. And, uh, it's up to you. They say every hotel they say like that. <laughs> do you know even the do you know we have the English people at the, at the time we have the English in you know, all nation many nations they say you cannot come because of cholera virus is the most dangerous virus. We don't want to we don't want to close down our hotel. Therefore, don't come back to hotel. And nine o'clock in the evening and then Muslim driver say. You need to move out, come, get out from our, mini, our purse. Do you know if you get out, we'll be uh, like homeless in Israel. <laughs> Can you imagine? We have all the bags and then um, oh. I was praying. I contact all the pastors. They say, no, no, no. Thank God. One pastor, Messianic Jew pastor, is a minister. He said, Pastor Paul, wait a minute, I'll contact. He contacted so many also the hotel. He called one Russian hotel, Russian hotel in Tel Aviv, yeah. and then they say okay, but very expensive, hundred fifty dollar per night. <laughs> you know, normally the group is uh, you know around thirty, How forty dollar. 
around 35, 40. Uh, how many of the 35, 40 were South Koreans Oriental? Around uh, 10. Uh, but 25 is all British. Everybody, yeah. they, they reject. What a horrible <coughs> experience. Can you imagine? Yeah. It's a terrible experience. I never ever seen that this can happen. You know, miserable called uh, our journey. Yeah. And then, you know, all breaking news. And then I asked all our team, what do you want to do now? Do you want to stay in, in, in Israel another final day or you can go back to your home country? And around uh, 15 people, they go back to own con uh, home, Korea and England or wherever, where they come from, our, from our group on that night. <coughs> around 1 o'clock in the morning and 2 o'clock in the morning, next day or 5 o'clock in the morning. But ticket price is very expensive. Yeah. Five, six hundred pounds, very expensive for a single ticket. But we, you know, most of the difficult uh, experience uh, uh, in, in our journey because of coronavirus uh, in our team. And so hard, we spend a lot of money. <coughs> but thanks to God, the Jewish men's and Jew pastor, they offer the even everybody gone, we still have around 20, over 20 people. That, that pastor and his family and congregation bring the food for us. Oh. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? And what you did? Because we don't do nothing. Every, every shop closed down. Every uh, restaurant closed. We cannot do anything. And then, and what we do, I encourage all our team, we need to preach the gospel. But problem was, because uh, not many people on the street, and when you go and with the leaflet, people, the Jewish people, when they look at us, they run away from us. Yeah. Oh, God. But anyway, we had a great time. You know, for me, I, I, I content in any circumstance. For me, I, I know how to overcome the, all our circumstance. It uh, doesn't matter, uh, you know, wind and snow and rain <laughs> and then <laughs> <laughs> cold and hot. <laughs> I don't care. Even hotel can <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mind and then I can <laughs> I think <laughs> glorify God. <laughs> Praise God. I think it's a uh, tonight, you know, as you get chapter thirty three, it is a warning message for watchmen and wicked men and everybody. And then um, depend on the sins, and then let God judge the world. When God judges the world, now, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity. We are gathering together as your watchmen. Watchmen need to uh, wake up. He blows blows the trumpet. We speak out, and we warn the wicked men and the uh, repent the sins. Father God, this message for righteous men and, and wicked men, everybody, turn, turn from your evil ways. Oh God, we thank you. In the name of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth, we need to repent our sins, forgive all our sins by the blood of Lord Jesus. Oh God, we thank you. God will judge the world. He will judge each of us according to our own ways. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, have mercy on us. Deliver us from all the temptation of the evil one. Protect us from all the darkness. Father God, can you use us as a watchman, like a prophet Nathan, and telling the truth? Oh God, all the prophets in the Old Testament, like Isaiah, Jeremiah, and, and Daniel, all the Ezekiel, these are the prophets of Israel. They are the watchmen. They are telling the truth for the nation. Father God, we want to tell the truth. We want to warn the people, warning the nation, and then to wake up, to stand up for Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. <coughs>